Well, tomorrow, the Panama City Police Department hosting their annual National Night Out at Gulf Coast State College right here in Panama City. Always a fun time. News 13's Ethan Logue is live in Panama City to tell us more about what we can expect for this awesome event. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Some of the things you can expect are free admission and free food. It doesn't really get any better than that, does it? And that all starts again tomorrow starting at 5 p.m. It goes until 8 p.m. right here at Gulf Coast State College in Panama City. But let's talk a little bit more about what else people can expect to see. And thankfully, we have Brittany uh, Wise and Sale joining me one more time. So, Brittany, again, what can people expect to see and do tomorrow? Well, this is going to be a massive event here on our Panama City campus at Gulf Coast State College. There's going to be over 50 vendors, and that's including our law enforcement personnel and other pro public servants agents, as well as food vendors. We're going to have some snacks. I heard there's going to be uh, snow cones, which is always a great plus in this heat. So there's going to be a lot for the whole family to enjoy. Now, you mentioned the Panama City campus here at GCSC. Why is it so important to hold it specifically at the, this main campus? Well, first of all, our location here is nice and centralized. Everyone knows where it is. It's easily accessible and it's large enough to host this type of event. But also because our college, uh, we train public servants agents. So law enforcement, um, EMS, firefighters and corrections. Those are all programs that we're training the next generation of those individuals that are going to be serving our community in this capacity. Now, speaking more to the residents of Bay County, Panama City, and even the surrounding counties who may come tomorrow, why is a community event like this so important to them specifically? Well, this is a national event, but even here locally, it's important just because we want our community to have a great relationship with our local law enforcement and public service individuals, to know that they are here to serve and protect, they're here to help you, and they want everyone to come out and see them in that really positive light and see that they are they're here as a resource. And what are some of the vendor vendors or people who are showing up tomorrow besides kind of law enforcement and local agencies? We will have both of our, our Navy and our Air Force base will be represented. We'll have the Florida Wildlife Conservation Group here. Um, we're also going to have the Florida Highway Patrol. We'll have some of uh, Gulf Coast State College. Our Tempest program will be here. So there's going to be a lot for the family to enjoy. They're going to have games to play. Um, the kids will be able to see the vehicles and see some of the suits and, and uh, the getup that some of our individuals have to wear when they're out serving. So it's a really fun event um, just for them to come and see and get excited and, uh, and learn more about these agencies. So it sounds like it's going to be pretty hands-on. There's going to be a lot of interactive stuff, right? Yes, very interactive. Right, and then is there any part or phase of the event tomorrow that you're really looking forward to or most excited about? I love to see whenever the kids get out here and get excited. Uh, just to, you know, whether it's trying on a firefighter helmet or, you know, getting up into the vehicles and getting to honk the horn. I'm just seeing them get excited and just to learn more and see that these are people that they can trust, uh, people that are here for them. All right. And again, this all kicks off tomorrow starting at 5 p.m. It goes until 8 p.m. right here at Gulf Coast State College. Free food and it's a free event. So get out, show up, support your local law enforcement, support local business. Guys, 